Good morning, good morning, good morning, folks. Welcome to the QT Bible Study with Steve Levitt. I'm Steve Levitt. This is the Life Quiet Time Bible Study that we do every morning here on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Good morning, Ashley. Big Joe, number two in a row. Good job, Shannon. Good morning. Kimberly, first one up, winner, winner, chicken dinner on Facebook. Julie on YouTube, the first one to show up. Good to see everybody this morning. Hope you survived Easter Sunday. Family and friends and <clears throat> Easter eggs and giant monster, monster bunny rabbits. All right. Yes, Jennifer, we start another book. I took Sarah's suggestion. Uh, Sarah, you'll be pleased to know that we're going to study the book of Hosea, Old Testament prophet, uh, the book of Hosea. Terrible day for me to start it, though. I am I'm off. I'm just telling you, I'm off this morning, just so you know. Um, sinus headache, not too bad of a headache, uh, kind of dizzy. My ears are full. I'm a little bit nauseous. Um, I just can't seem to, it's the springtime is what it is. It's just springtime and I have all this stuff and I want to be clear and sharp and uh, Deanna and Wade, good to see you guys. Hey, Brian, good morning. I want to be clear and sharp. I think I've got energy, but I don't feel clear and sharp. But we're going to do it anyway. So God gives me what he gives me. And I'm going to do with the best I can whatever God gives me this morning. So let's go. What do we know about the book of Hosea? Go there in your Old Testament. So we do this every time, but you have the Old Testament and you have the New Testament. The Old Testament is before Jesus, New Testament after Jesus, during and after Jesus, right? In the Old Testament, before Jesus, you have uh, 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 historical books, poetic books, and prophetic books, three different sections. Uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, blah, 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 are all historical books telling the history of God, creation, and the Israelites. In the middle, there's five poetic books, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Job, in the middle of your Old Testament. Then there's the prophetic books, 17 prophetic books, major prophets, minor prophets, based on how big the book is, but uh, 17 prophetic books. In the middle of those prophetic books, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Nehemiah, uh, yeah, Nehemiah, uh, in the middle of those 17 books is Hosea, kind of right in the middle of your Old, Old Testament prophetic books, all the prophets, uh, uh, right in the middle, there is Hosea. So, go to the book of Hosea, chapter 1, and what do we know about Hosea? I told you yesterday that Hosea, um, it's the story of Hosea and Gomer. It's the story about the nation of Israel and God. It's also the story about you and I and Jesus. There's a there's a huge comparison, and it's a it's a very intentional. Hosea says so. It's an intentional illustration of God and His relationship to us, whether it's the Israelites or us now. God and His relationship to us is the same as the story we're going to read about Hosea. And his wife Gomer. 
and there's been a great book written by Francine Rivers called Redeeming Love. Uh, and then it was out in movie theaters a couple of years ago, Redeeming Love, uh, about these characters, this guy that goes out west in the 1900s or 18, I don't know, probably 1800s, goes out west and God tells him to marry this woman. And uh, there's the story, Redeeming Love. So, The story of Hosea. So what do we know about Hosea? He's a prophet. And a prophet is somebody that God speaks through to the nation of Israel. He's a prophet. I think it's about seven. Y'all, y'all, if I get any of this history wrong or you want to add something or you think I'm off on something, let me know. But here's what I remember and know. Um, about 750 A.D., before Christ, 750 years before Christ. Uh, uh, if you've ever read much, uh, the, the King Ahaz was in there uh, during this time, and there were different kings. At this time, the nation of it, the Jews were split between Israel and Judah. The nation of Israel there, at this time, the kingdoms were split. Two different countries. The northern country was Israel. The southern country, the bigger section, was Judah. And so they functioned kind of two different ways. And God tended to primarily deal with Judah the most. That's where Jerusalem was and, and all the stuff. So um, we have, and, and the kingdom is split. So sometimes... Hosea will refer to Israel, and sometimes he'll refer to Judah, and they're all God's children, the Jews. So we have Hosea prophesying to uh, the kings, uh, the king of Israel, the king of Judah, and the people inside of Israel, and the Assyrians had taken over. The Assyrians were bad mamma jammas, all right? They, they would wipe people out and they were brutal and they were immoral and they were corrupt and they were awful humans. They did terrible things. Lots of really ugly, grotesque behaviors uh, in the uh, uh, Syrians. They worshiped Baal. Baal worship was pretty awful. All right. Hi, Shelby. Papa Nick, my daddy, is on Instagram. Tomorrow is Papa Nick's birthday. So everybody remember on Instagram tomorrow to go over and tell Papa Nick happy birthday on Instagram. That's my daddy's birthday tomorrow. 80, 80 years old. My dad, Papa Nick, gets up every morning. He goes, meets his buddies at the Waffle House, and then he goes, gets on a tractor, goes to the farm, and works his tail off every day hard uh, at 80 years old. That's my dad. Uh, might, he might saddle his horse up and go ride. You know, we never know about dad. He's, he's, he's going. All right. The Assyrians had taken over. They were in a lot of control over the situation. This was punishment, and it's going to be more punishment later. And <clears throat> basically, God's people, uh, the Jews, had in many ways, and many of them just adopted the Assyrian cultures. Many of the Jews were worshiping Baal. They were worshiping other gods. What's the one thing? You know, if God says, I'm going to give you one thing to not do, one thing, don't do this, right? You got one assignment. Understand the assignment. Worship me and me alone. That's your one assignment. The one thing I need you to do, Israel, is just worship me and me alone. I am a jealous God. I'll have no other gods before me. One thing, Israel, worship me and me alone. What's the one thing they do? They start worshiping Baal. And 
involving themselves in a lot of the horrible practices of Baal and the worship of this fake God, Baal, right? Uh, sexuality, lots of sexual prostitution and and disgusting things in worshiping Baal. And that is the nation of Israel. And that is what God wants to speak through Hosea to the nation of Israel about their worship of other gods, their wandering away from God, their denial of God, their, their ungodliness. That's the book of Hosea. And God is going to speak through Hosea and his relationship with Gomer the same as God and his relationship to the nation of Israel and you and I. In other words, human, you are a sinner and you wander away from me and I still love you. I'm going to allow hard things to happen to you. I'm going to allow consequences. I may even bring suffering into your life to bring about restoration for you. I may let you learn the hard way. I may I may be intentional, God says, about some bad things happening to you. Because you wander away, because you you fail to follow. But I will always love you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will restore you back. This is Hosea Gomer, 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 come here, Gomer. I love you. Up, 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 up. Come here, Gomer. I love you. Up, 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 up. Come here, Gomer. I love you. Even though you've done this, you've prostituted yourself. You've 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 given yourself to other people. I love you. That's God in you and I. Even though we're sinners, even though we sin, we fail, we fall short, we do all the wrong things, God loves us. Never leave us nor forsake us. Nation of Israel, worship Baal, worship, I love you. All right, Hosea chapter one. Jennifer says that April 1st will always be a special day for her. A year ago today, you baptized me, and we all had a great get-together. Right? Is that Jennifer, I'm assuming? I didn't know that it was a year ago. What? <laughs> yes, Marty wants to do another get-together. We need to have another baptism. People want to be baptized. Uh, we want to build a pool. We found a company that does country uh, concrete horse uh, cattle watering tank swimming pools. You know, it's a it's a, a six foot or five foot deep swimming pool, but it's concrete in a circle. It's like half or less the price of building a regular pool in your backyard. Very inexpensive, and they look really cool. We live out in the country; it'd be perfect. We're going to do it. Marty was saying last night, we got to do it so we can have a baptism out here. we got to build the pool so we can have a baptism out here at our place. So whenever we get a pool built, if we do it, we don't know if we're going to do it or not. Uh, it's really, really affordable. And it's still expensive, but uh, to build a pool out here and be able to have everybody out and do a baptism. Yes, Jennifer and Kimberly, uh, baptism sisters. Uh, it, was a, it was a sweet time. Yeah, my friend has one that the windmill circulates the water into the pool. Yeah, very cool. All right, here we go. I took a long time to set up Hosea. Is there anything else? You guys want me to know uh, 
uh, uh, uh, that y'all want to share about Hosea that I may have left out? And me, Martha says, and me. I don't know what all that is. I remember I watched that amazing day. Yeah, Martha was there. <laughs> oh, that, M Martha saying, and me, baptism, and me. Yes, Ma and me, Martha says. Yes, that's true. Uh, there was a number of other people, too. Uh, got it, Martha. I, uh, you're right. I know this is Shalhaz. Yeah, and a bunch of you watched it live. Tax deduction, <laughs> baptismal pool for nonprofit. <laughs> Did you hear that, Marty? Oh, she must have gone back into the room. Uh, that's awesome, Cheryl. Man, of course. We got it. We the, the tax deduction. That's awesome. Zach, Sarah's son, yes. Um I can't think of her name and her daughter. I, her name just went out of my head. She's on and off here sometimes. And her daughter were baptized also. Anyway, I totally forgot her name. It'll come back to me. Pam. Pam, Pam and her daughter. Yeah. All right, here we go. Hosea chapter one, verse one. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Let me try that again. The word of the Lord that came to Hosea, the son of Beri, in the day of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, in the day of Jeroboam, and son of Joash, king of Israel. So there it is, king of Judah, king of Israel. There are the kings that reigned during Hosea's time of being a prophet. And let's just start. <laughs> no, Sarah. Let's just start with understanding what this is, what the Bible is, what the prophets were. It says, the word of the Lord that came to Hosea, the son of Bari. Why do I say in 1 Corinthians, God says, Paul writes. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 5. Paul, God says, Paul writes. Because the word of God is the word of God. It's not written by man. It is penned by man. It is 2 Timothy 3, 16. All scriptures inspired by God, profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. God wrote the Bible. This is God's word. Hosea is saying, I'm just telling you what God says. The word of the Lord that came to Hosea. And he's going to tell us what the word of the Lord was given to Hosea to give to the people of Israel. And now you and me. Mine says that when the Lord began to speak through Hosea, perfect. When the Lord spoke through Hosea. So, as we read this, this isn't just Paul writing to Corinth and whatever Paul felt like saying, whatever Paul thought of that day, whatever Hosea decided to say, this is God speaking through men to, to what we now have, the Word of God, the Bible, the, the closed canon inspired word of God. Verse 2. <clears throat> when the Lord began to speak by Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go and take yourself a wife of harlotry and children of harlotry. Anybody else have a different word there? Some of yours may say prostitution. We don't know for sure. We assume she was a prostitute. Was she a temple prostitute? Was she 
um, having sex and worship of Baal? Um, was she just a harlot? Uh, did she prostitute herself after adulterous? Uh, whoredom. Oh, wow. Promiscuous. Those are the different words used there. Dang, Linda. What version is yours, Linda? I'd love to know. Um, this was a woman. Go take yourself a woman of whoredom, adulterous, promiscuous. Mine says harlotry. We don't know if this is go take yourself a wife and she's later going to become this. Most likely, it is she's already there. Doesn't matter, King King James. Linda says, um, um, she's our, she, it doesn't matter. The, the application is the same to you and I. So this is Hosea. Uh, this is Hosea. Difficult to imagine Hosea's feeling like God married a woman who, who would be unfaithful to him. Yeah, this is Hosea, man of God. Cheryl, that's exactly you and I are so in tune. Uh, I was about to make this point that this is a man of God, a man who seeks righteousness, who, who is moral and, and obedient to God, and he does the right thing, and he's pure. Remember, Judaism was all about cleanliness and purity. No, no impurity. Uh, uh, you don't eat tainted meat. You don't do this. You clean, you wash your hands, you wash your feet. Everything is Clean, cleanliness, sanitary. So go get a nasty prostitute that may have disease and may have and has been uh, uh, used. Go get her for your wife. That's the guys, listen. That's the picture of God and you and I. Israel was was walking away from God. Israel was not worshiping. Israel was prostituting itself. Israel was was doing ungodly things. You and I are doing ungodly things. You and I are sinners. This is this is the God that loves us anyway. We are the prostitute. We are the harlot. We are the sinner. The one. Uh, uh, the 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 depraved person that God loves and restores and God is perfect and clean and he can only deal with, he can only commune with, he can only have a relationship with pure and lovely and perfect. And he loves you so much that he found a way to fellowship with you. He could not, because of our sin, fellowship with us the way it was. So he found a way. God found a way. God found a way to love on you, to save you through the blood of Jesus Christ. Watch this. Am I going to get there? I'm probably not going to get there today. I was going to show you Jesus in here. Uh, go forward. Hosea chapter 1. Where is it? Verse 11. Then the children of Judah and the children of Israel shall, shall be gathered together. He's talking about the restoration of Israel whenever they get Israel and appoint for themselves one head. All the Jews are going to eventually come together. God is going to restore them and they're going to appoint for themselves one head and they shall come out of the land for great will be the day of Jezreel. That's Jesus. Underline that word one head in verse 11. That's Jesus. That's the Messiah. God found a way. 
God will always find a way to restore you. We are harlots. We are whoremongers. We are prostitutes. We are adulterers. We are awful. And God is perfect and good. And he found a way to make you perfect and good. He found a way to help you be righteous. He found a way to help you stand before him as pure and holy and lovely through Jesus Christ. This is us. This is you. Woo, I got on some people on that one, right? Yeah, I'm going to back up, sissy. I was just showing you Jesus in the book of Hosea, 750 years before Jesus. Here's the prophecy of the restoration in verse 11. So back up. Some of you are crying. Some of you are going out. Some of you are going, whoo, serious. You're going to have to go watch Redeeming Love. Read the book. It's, it's amazing. All right. Go and take for yourself a wife of harlotry and children of harlotry. We don't know if she had children. Probably not. This is probably children between her and Hosea. Could have been children between her and her lovers that weren't Hosea after they were married. We don't know. But here's the children. For the land has committed great harlotry by departing from the Lord. There it is. Hosea, God says to Hosea, Hosea, my prophet, I want you to go take a wife of harlotry. You're going to have children uh, uh, out of harlotry. And it's going to represent the land has committed, the people have committed, Israel has committed great harlotry by departing from the Lord. Have you ever departed from God? This is us. We, I depart from God every day. I, I put aside God and do what I want every day. I sin every day. Any sin is a departure from the Lord. All right, so Hosea, verse 3. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Diblam, and she conceived and bore him a son. So that implies that it's Hosea's son. She conceived and bore him a son. Then the Lord said to him, Call his name Jezreel, for in a little while I will avenge the blood of Jezreel on, um, on the house of Jehu and bring an end to the kingdom. Bring an end to the kingdom of the house of Israel. It shall come to pass in that day I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. Somebody tell me what these mean. I, I, I can look it up, but I can't find it right now. Tell me what the the um, the names are. Jezreel. What does Jezreel mean? Then what does uh, Lo Amin mean? And Lo Ramahan. The three kids. They all have different. One is God doesn't love you or God's rejected you. They're all terrible names. They're all like, you'll be defeated. Uh, uh, God has rejected you. Uh, somebody look them up and tell me real quick. So that's the firstborn, Jezreel. It represents what I'm going to do. And she conceived again and bore a daughter. Then God said to him, call her name lo Rahamaha. I don't know how you say that. For I will no longer have mercy on the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. And yet I have mercy in the house. And yet I will have mercy on the house of Judah will save them by the Lord their God and will save them by the bow nor by sword and will not save them by the bow nor by sword or battle or by horse or horseman. Now, whenever she had weaned her, she conceived and bore a son, number three, and God said, call his name Lo Ami, Ami for you are not my people and I will not be your God. 
All right. Did anybody look him up? Not my people, Lo Ami. Lo Rahman, not loved. And Jezreel means Lord, the Lord sows. Not my people. Isn't that interesting? The three kids, they were all, these were all a representation. What does departing from God look up again back over here? For they have departed from the Lord, verse two. What does departing from the Lord result in? It results in not my people, not loved rejection by God. It re, th th that's the children were a representation of the result of their sin. And if you just leave it right there, if we just stop right there, I'm going to wrap up right here. If you just stop right there, it's terrible. They're doomed. It's all over. But then you get to verse 10, as always. Watch this. Yet the number of children of Israel shall be like sands of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. And it shall come to pass in the place where I said of them, you are not my people. There it shall be said to them, you are the sons of the living God. Then the children of Judah and the children of Israel shall gather together and appoint for themselves one head, Jesus. And they shall come up out of the land for great will be the day of Jezreel. Say to the brethren, my people, and you and your sister, mercy is shown. Restoration. Mercy is shown through Jesus Christ. Restoration. The book of Hosea is about sin. It's about restoration, and it's about Jesus. They were temporarily rejected by God. They were temporarily, whenever you sin, it separates you from God. And then God lovingly and in his mercy restores you back. Jezreel, God scatters. That's what it is. God scatters. That's the best one. In every dark moment, God always restores. So we'll pick up chapter two tomorrow right there. There is the book of Hosea, a start to it. I hope you guys are loving this. It's so good. Let's pray and then I'll answer and respond to any questions or comments that anybody has. Lord, thank you for today, for loving us, and thank you that in my departure, in my sin, in my harlotry and adultery, Lord, you have shown me a way back, a way of restoration through the blood of Jesus Christ and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you that you loved me and you found a way to allow me to be in your presence to allow me to be loved by you. I pray for anybody that doesn't know you, that feels unloved and rejected. Lord, help them to know that you have not left them, that you would gladly receive them up and show them a way to spend eternity with you. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. In every dark moment, God restores. That's right, Robert. All right. Lots of sin and lots of Jesus, Debbie says. That's so good. Any questions or comments? Anybody else? So here we go, book of Hosea. We're going to we're going to get through it pretty quick. I'm going to try to get through it pretty quick, but I I thought you guys would be able to enjoy it. Jezreel was also a fertile plain where numerous crops were sown, Mike says. Nice. It's going to be good. Yep. Jesus loves me. This I know.
for the Bible tells me so. Thanks, Melanie. Jennifer, you're welcome. Jennifer likes that I bring the stories to life. Good. It's fun. Thanks, Cheryl. I feel I feel fine. I'm just it's that mainly it's that inner ear fluid in your ears, kind of dizzy, nauseous, kind of dizzy feeling, which I get all the time. So <clears throat> just trying to tell you how I was, the state I was in this morning as you read my body language. They are weak, but he is strong, Big Joe. Amen. Tom says, was the northern kingdom dispersed during the time of Hosea? I do believe, yes. Remember Ahaz? He was king in... in and um, what book is it that talks about his return back? Uh, is was this the start of the exile seven year seven hundred year exile? I think during Hosea may have been maybe I, I may be wrong about that, but I think the answer is yes to that question. Were they dispersed? Uh, yes. Somebody watched Redeeming Love on Saturday. Didn't like it at first. They want to know where they can watch it, Debbie. Where did you watch it? Thanks, Steve. Y'all have a great week. Wonderful. Thanks, Robbie says. All right, Robbie. I saw this play out yesterday at church. A broken man cried all the way up to the altar to be healed by giving his life to Jesus. Sarah says, amen. Love that. If anybody knows where you can watch Redeeming Love. It's a little bit, I mean, it's a Christian movie. Uh, it's a little bit kind of risque so that it's not risque it's a love story and it's realistic amazon prime debbie says it is raunchy i a little bit yes I didn't think it was terribly raunchy. I don't, there's no actual nudity. Yeah, no actual nudity. But, and I think they could have done without being as making out and everything. But the book is way better. <clears throat> the book. The book is way better. Um, the movie, yeah, the movie's great. I, li I like the movie, but I don't know, Debbie. You think I should not? I think it's too much. You think I shouldn't recommend the movie, Debbie? It's on Hulu, Dixie Darling says. I already did flow nays this morning, Hindle. Took Allegra last night. I read the book probably 20 years ago more and it was hard to read, but the movie was a really tender love story. Books always better. Sarah says. Big Joe uh, asked for our prayers. I think we got a funeral tomorrow. Maybe Joe, I think if that's right, uh, big Joe's grandson, uh, funeral next couple of days and uh we'll be praying for you joe for sure brenda would recommend the movie to anybody who acknowledges that they are a sinner uh it's on stars also <laughs> All right, I got a busy counseling day today, so I need to get going. Hope you guys have a super terrific, great day today, uh, and we'll pick up in Hosea chapter 2 tomorrow. 
Keep on keeping on. Bye-bye. YouTube, Tamara says. Everybody's praying for you, Joe, over on Facebook. TikTok, we'll see you. I love you guys. Keep on keeping on. Bye, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. See you tomorrow.